Mrs. Mamuni. Thank you so much for being Amar Baba Ma. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. As we all know, GST or Goods and Services Tax is a comprehensive multi-stage destination based value added tax. In other words, GST is a comprehensive multi-stage destination based tax that is levied on every value addition. So in this video, I am going to discuss and explain in detail why GST is a multi-stage tax with the help of a diagram step by step in the easiest way. So let's get started. Cholo shuru kora jak. So why GST is a multi-stage tax? Let me explain with the help of a diagram. GST is a multi-stage tax because there are multiple stages a product goes through from purchase of raw materials to the final sale of the finished product. At each of these stages, there is some value addition to the product. So, a multi-stage tax is a tax that is charged at every stage of production. So, there are a number of stages the raw materials go through before the finished product is sold to the final consumer. Therefore, GST or goods and services tax is levied or imposed on each stage which makes it a multi-stage tax. Understood? Now let me explain with the help of a diagram or chart. So let's go through the chart or diagram. First stage, purchase of raw materials. Second stage, manufacturing of a product. Third stage, storing or warehousing or packing of the finished product. Fourth stage, the manufacturer or the producer selling the finished product to a wholesaler. Fifth stage, the wholesaler selling the finished product to a retailer. Sixth stage or the final stage, the retailer selling the finished product to the final consumer. Now see, at each of these stages, there is some value addition to the product. See, in the first stage, value addition. Second stage, value addition. Third stage, value addition. Fourth stage, value addition. Fifth stage, value addition. So, at each of these stages, there is some value addition to the product. Okay, now let me explain in detail what is the first stage that is purchase of raw materials. Okay, so let's go through the first stage in detail. First stage that is purchase of raw materials. Purchasing or buying raw materials by the manufacturer or the producer is the first stage. The purchase of raw materials to manufacture a product adds value to the raw material. Okay, understood? Because I have already told you before, at each of these stages, there is some value addition to the product. Okay? Second stage, that is manufacturing of a product. Manufacturing of a product by the manufacturer or the producer is the second stage. Manufacturing refers to the process of converting raw materials into finished products or goods. Manufacturing involves a series of activities including product design, raw material sourcing, production or assembly and quality control. Value is added to the raw materials through the production process to turn them into specific products. I have told you before, at each of these stages, there is some value addition to the product. So, this is the second stage. Understood? Now, let's go through the third stage. That is storing or warehousing or packing of the 
finished product storing or warehousing or packing of the finished product is the third stage warehousing is an important marketing function performed by the producers there is a time gap between the production and the consumption of finished products or goods warehousing is the act of storing finished products or goods that will be sold later the packing process takes place in the warehouse the finished products are labeled at the warehouse adding further value to the finished product i have already told you at each of these stages there is some value addition to the product okay and that is the reason gst is a multi stage tax okay now let's go through the fourth stage the fourth stage that is the manufacturer or the producer selling the finished product to a wholesaler the manufacturer or producer selling the finished product to a wholesaler is the fourth stage the label finished products are sold to a wholesaler thereby adding more to the labeled finished product i have told you already that at each of these stages there is some value addition to the product understood and that is the reason gst is a multi stage tax okay now let's go through the fifth stage fifth stage that is the wholesaler selling the finished product to a retailer the wholesaler selling the finished product to a retailer is the fifth stage a wholesaler is an important chain of the channel of distribution because he is an agent between a manufacturer and a retailer a wholesaler purchases the label finished products or goods from the manufacturer or producer in bulk quantity and sells them in small quantities to the retailers this is the most important function of the wholesaler the wholesaler avoids periodic shortages of finished products or goods for retailers at all times the wholesalers also provide facilities for the transportation of finished products or goods from the producers to his own godown okay the wholesalers also send goods to retailers in far flung areas moreover the wholesalers foresee market conditions the wholesalers also collect information from retailers about fashions changes in the taste and buying habits of consumers or customers and pass this important information to manufacturers or producers many wholesalers also sort out goods according to shape size quality etc which is known as grading the wholesalers break the finished products or goods into small lots repack them and put their own brand names okay in this way the wholesalers perform the functions of packing branding and grading many wholesalers also finance the manufacturers or producers by giving them advance money with order or buying large quantity of goods on cash basis and also help the retailers by selling the finished products to the retailers on credit sometimes thereby adding further value to the product as i have already told you gst is a multi stage tax so at each of these stages there is some value addition to the product okay now let's go to the sixth stage or the last stage or the final stage that is the retailer selling the finished product to the final consumer the retailer selling the finished product to the final consumer is the sixth stage or the last stage or the final stage understood a retailer deals in different variety of finished products or goods which the retailer purchases in small quantities from the wholesaler for selling to the final consumers 
or customers. The retailer displays the labeled finished products in show windows in order to attract the consumers or customers. This leads to immense publicity for the labeled finished products or goods. The retailers also create demand for the labeled finished products by communicating with the final consumers or customers. Okay? Understood? The retailers introduce new products to the final consumers and also guide them as to their uses. So the retailers act as a link between the wholesalers and the final consumers. In the distribution channel, the retailers are in direct contact with the final consumers or customers. The retailers supply market information to the manufacturers or producers either directly or through wholesalers. So the retailers perform several marketing functions such as sales promotion and advertising and point of purchase display. Therefore, the retailers are the connecting link between the wholesaler and the final consumer. The labeled products are sold to the final consumer by a retailer who markets the finished product thereby adding more value to the product. Because as I have already told you, GST is a multi-stage tax. So at each of these stages, there is some value addition to the product. Okay, so let's go through the chart or diagram once again. Why GST is a multi-stage tax? Because there are multiple stages a product goes through from purchase of raw materials to the final sale of the finished product. So what is the first stage? Purchase of raw materials. What is the second stage? Manufacturing of a product. What is the third stage? Storing or warehousing or packing of the finished product. What is the fourth stage? The manufacturer or the producer selling the finished product to a wholesaler. What is the fifth stage? The wholesaler selling the finished product to a retailer. What is the sixth stage? Or the final stage or the last stage? The retailer selling the finished product to the final consumer. Understood? And at each of these stages, there is some value addition to the product. Because GST is a multi-stage tax. Say in the first stage, value addition. In the second stage, value addition. In the third stage, value addition. In the fourth stage, value addition. In the fifth stage, value addition. So it continues. I hope you understood and I hope everything is clear now. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your precious time. I sincerely hope this was helpful. I'll catch you all again in the next video. Till then, keep rising and keep shining. Bye-bye. Take care. Stay safe and stay blessed always.